Welcome back to Candy's Art World. I'm Candy, and today I'm going to be drawing an elephant's face. Well, it's like a side view of his face. Um, and I'm going to use watercolors to do a soft, out-of-focus background um, with the moon in the back. And um, I use both my Arteza and my Prismacolor color pencils because I have more colors in the Arteza than I do the Prismacolors. I used a one of my plastic cups to outline for the moon to get that perfect circle I was looking for. For watercolors, I like to um, spray my palette with a spray bottle to help get the, um, to color, the colors loosened. I'm using um, light browns and grays for the background um, because the elephant was going to be grays and browns. I wanted to be um, a cohesive piece. So for the elephant, I started by putting in the crinkles on the skin. Um, I wanted it to be like part of the skin, not laying on top. So I thought if I put the the lines in first before coloring them in, that would help make the lines be part of the elephant, not just sitting on top of the elephant. I'm also trying to establish some of the shadows on the elephant.
had accidentally <clears throat> thought I had thought I had it recording when I didn't have a recording so what the camera missed was just putting in the base layer of some of the browns on the ears and the leg. I'm pulling back out some of the wrinkles um, because I had used a really light gray. I had to deepen those those wrinkles a little bit. But with color pencil, you work in layers. So, and when you blend it out, some of the t uh, detail goes away. <laughs> so you just add it back in little by little whenever you see that you need it. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Have a great day.